안녕하십니까. Hello everyone. 아프리카에 가신 분 다시 돌아오십시오. Oh, if you're in Africa now, please come back to New York. 오늘 요한복음 4장에 있는 말씀을 읽겠습니다. Today we'll read the words in John chapter 4. 요한복음 4장 7절 말씀부터 제가 읽겠습니다. I'll read to you from John chapter 4 verse 7. 찾으셨으면 읽겠습니다. If you found it, I will read. <웃음> 사마리아 여자 하나가 물을 길러 왔음에 예수께 물을 좀 달라 하시. There cometh the woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. <웃음> 이는 제자들이 먹을 것사 동네에 들어갔습니다. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. 사마리아 여자 하루대 당신은 유대인으로 어찌하여 사마리아 여자 나에게 물을 달라 하나이까? 아니. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water, springing up into everlasting life. The woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Okay, read to verse 15. 제가 구원을 받고 난 뒤에 After I received salvation 그날부터 예수님 늘 나와 같이 내가 하는 모든 일을 돕는 걸 봤어요. And I saw from then on Jesus was always with me helping me with everything. 저희 아버지는 1951년도에 어머니가 세상을 떠나셨는데요. In 1951 my mother passed away. 그때 저희 아버지 나이는 and at the time my father was 47 years old. 오늘 아버지가 저희들을 불러 앉혀놓고 이야기를 했습니다. And one day my father sat us down and he said to us, 내가 너 엄마가 세상을 떠난 뒤에, after your mother has passed away, 여러 곳 사람들이 이렇게 결혼을 신청하는 사람들이 많이 있었다. And there had been many people wanting to get married with me. 나는 죽은 너희 어머니 같은 사람을 아직 한 번도 만나본 적이 없다. But I've never met any person like your mother who is now passed away. 어 우리가 세상을 살 좋은 사람 만난다는 그게 어렵다는 사실을 알았다. And I realized that it's really hard to find good people in this world. 내 사람의 마음은 아무도 알 수가 없다. But nobody can know a person's heart. 그너 어머니 같은 사람만 오신다면야 온다면 얼마나 좋을런지 모르겠지만. And it would be so good if I could find another woman like your mother. 만일에 나쁜 사람이 온다면 우리 가정이 전부 다 어려워질 거다. But if the woman turns out to be a bad person, it will be a great hardship for our whole family. 그래서 내가 모든 결혼 시절 다 거절하고. And that's why I've refused all the requests to be married, and I just decided my life to live my life with you. 우리 그때 어렸기 때문에 그런 생각을 심각하게 받아들이지 않았습니다. At the time, we were very poor, and we didn't think much of it. 저희 아버지는 마흔 일곱 살 때, 일흔까지 사셨습니다. But my father lived from the age of 47 all the way to 70. 지금 나이가 들어 생각해 보면 아버지는 일생을 우리 마누라 위해 모든 걸 희생하고 사셨어. And when I think of back now, I could see that my father lived his whole life sacrificing everything for us. 내 아버지가 다 좋은데 예수를 믿지 않는 것이. And but my father, everything about him was fine, but he did not believe in Jesus. 저는 그때 아 모두 바란 게 아버지만 구원을 받고. 
죄사 안 받을 걸 하늘나라 가 있으면 좋겠습니다. And I didn't hope for anything else except that my father would receive the forgiveness of sins, receive salvation and be able to go to heaven. 그때 이제 저희들 집이 참 가난했는데. At that time my family was very poor. 형님이 계셨습니다. And I had my older brother. 형님이 우리 집에 정말 집터는 좋은데 집이 너무 허술해서 새로 집을 지으려고 계획을 세웠습니다. And the land where our house was really good, but the the house was very shabby. So my brother had a plan to rebuild the house. 새로 집을 짓는데 많은 돈이 필요한데. But we needed a lot of money to rebuild the house. 형님이 집을 지을 돈을 준비할 돈이 마련되지 않았어. And my older brother needed to prepare money for the house, but he was unable to get the money. 근데 일본에 히로시마에 사는 작은 아버지가 오셨습니다. But my uncle who lived in Hiroshima, Japan, he came. 히로시마의 작은 아버지는 토건업을 하면서 굉장히 잘 살고 계셨어. And so my uncle in Hiroshima he did construction business and he made a lot of good money. 형님이 어렵게 작은 아버지께 부탁을 했습니다. And so my older brother asked our uncle. 작은 아버지 제가 집을 지을 돈을 조금만 도와주시면 좋겠습니다. Uncle, I'm trying to build a house. Can you help us a little bit financially? 작은 아버지는 한마디로 거절했어. And my uncle immediately refused him. 난널못 도와준다. I cannot help you. 그래서 and immediately refused him. But then my uncle said, But you may come to my company and work on site. And I will feed you, I will give you a place to sleep. And then also I will give you your pay. 그 당시에 노동자 월급이 일본 사람이 한국 사람보다 열 배가 비쌌어. And at that time, the labor income of a person in Japan was ten times that of Korea. 형님이 한몇달 동안 일하는 동안에 그 집을 질 거의 많은 돈을 마련하게. And so my older brother worked for a few months, and he got came up with all the money we needed to build a house. 이제 그때 형이 일본 가시면서. And at that time, as my older brother went to Japan, he discussed with me. I'm going to Japan. 아버지를 네가 일본 가 있던 좀 모시시면 좋겠다. You know, can you uh, take care of father while I'm away in Japan? 아 그때 저는 아예 형님 제가 그러고 싶습니다. And I told my older brother, yes, brother, I would love to do so. 아버지 이제 저희들 집에 와 계셨어. And so our father stayed with me at my house. 아버지께 위궤양이 있으셨는데. And my father had stomach ulcer. 아버지가 세상을 떠나고 난 뒤에 위궤양에 쓰이는 재산제 약이 좋은 약이 막 푹푹 막 쏟아져 나왔는데. After my father passed away of stomach ulcer, lots of good medication for ulcer were developed. 아버지가 돌아가시기 전에 그 위궤양에 좋은 약이 없었어. But before my father passed away, they had no good medication for stomach ulcer. 물론 그 당시 좋은 약이라고 약을 썼지만 위궤양이 잘 치료가 되지 않았어. And yes, we used the best medicine they had at the time, but it was not effective. 위궤양의 가장 큰 이제 치명적인 위의 산인데. And the toughest thing about the ulcer in the stomach is the acid. 그 산이 나와가 아버지 위장에 벽을 자꾸 끌었어. The acid came forth and scraped away at my father's stomach walls. 그 아버지 위장이 얇아지면서. And my father's stomach got thinner and thinner. 위장 있는 혈관까지 터져 이제 위에서 출혈이 막 되고 있어. The blood vessels in his stomach began to burst and there was a lot of bleeding in his stomach. 아버지 돌아가신 날 이제 새로운 위장약들이 위궤양약이 재산제가 나오면 제가 막 그렇게 썼을 제약해서 진작 좀 빨리 하지. And so when there was a lot of good medication for ulcer after my father passed away, it broke my heart. I thought they should have developed these earlier. 아버지가 이제 병원에 진찰을 하면은 헤모글로빈이 떨어지는 거예요. And when my father would go to the hospital and and be checked, his hemoglobin count would be so low. 헤모글로빈 제 아버지가 13, 14가 정상인데. And so 13, 14 is the normal level of hemoglobin. 이제 그 위벽에서 피가 출혈이 되기 때문에. But because there was bleeding from bleeding from his stomach walls. 13에서 10으로 떨어지고. It went from 13 to 10. 8로 떨어지고. To 8. 5.7까지 내려갔어. And went down all the way to 5.7. 그러니까 아버지 몸에 있는 피가 3분의 1 조금 더 되게 남아 있는 상태. And so my father only had about one third of the normal level of blood. 병원에 가서 우리가 수혈을 하시도록 했습니다. And we took him to the hospital for a blood transfusion. 근데도 위궤양의 출혈이 멈질 위에 멈질 않았어. Still, the bleeding in his stomach did not stop. 
ఒకనాల్ చేగా ఆబుజీకి పోగమ చెనరా తరగాస్ వన్ డే ఐ వెంట్ టు ప్రీచ్ ద గాస్పెల్ టు మై ఫాదర్ ఆబుజీ అజే తో ఓరే సాషి మోతల్ కురారాస్ అండ్ ఐ న్యూ మై ఫాదర్ వాస్ నాట్ గోన టు లివ్ లాంగ్ తోరా సీజన్ జే పోగమ చెనరా లివ్ హెరుస్ అండ్ ఐ వాంటెడ్ టు ప్రీచ్ ద గాస్పెల్ టు హిమ్ బిఫోర్ హి పాస్డ్ అవే ఆబుజీ గా వంగాగే కుజా సో మై ఫాదర్ స్ట్రాంగ్లీ రిఫ్యూజ్డ్ చేగా నమ నమ సల్పచి మోత కి హెల్ప్స్ బోస్ ఐ వాస్ సో సాడ్ బట్ ఐ కడెంట్ డు ఎనీథింగ్ కుయితనా రాచిమియస్ అండ్ ఇట్ బికేమ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ మార్నింగ్ ఆబుజీ గా చెరు పురుజస్ మై ఫాదర్ కాల్డ్ మీ ఇన్ అంజుకి ఏవి పక్కే ఇన్న ఇస్ ఇన్ సుక్స్ ఫాదర్ ఔట్ సైడ్ హి ఆస్ యా అబుజి చగా ఇస్మి ఐ సెడ్ యస్ ఫాదర్ ఐ యామ్ రైట్ హియర్ చచ ఆనే హావో పాంగే అబుజి పాంగే ఎల్తర్ గా అండ్ సో విత్ మై వైఫ్ వి వెంట్ టు మై ఫాదర్స్ రూమ్ అబుజి గా ఇజ చారి ఎందో కేషి దాగా ఉరియా తర్వ అంచ ఇరో సషికి ఇర అంజుకి అండ్ సో మై ఫాదర్ వాస్ లైయింగ్ డౌన్ అండ్ దెన్ వెన్ వి కేమ్ ఇన్ ద రూమ్ హి సాట్ అప్ ఇరో సషి అంజమ ఎందో కప్చ అక్కసినందే and then he sat up and all of a sudden he vomited we as a chureri dega yo we goyet ke pirul ta thwash the blood that had welled in his stomach from the bleeding he vomited out all that blood chonan chion theonal han bondo sarami pirul thwanen gol bonjeo i had never seen anyone vomit blood my whole life kotte che maami no mu no mu chabunejigi and right then my heart became very very calm che ane do che do abuji do maharul hajira myself my wife my father none of us said a word kare uriyan tokaton sengagore es but we were all thinking the same thing so pika borun joma de juseyo kazo chega abuji ekke ije abuji ga sesangal tanashinungura and so i thought ah oh, now my father is going to pass away chega ije abuji sesan tanashinungura Ah now my father's going to pass away. Jane mang ung ung urus. And my wife she was weeping and crying. So she was just mutak anes. And we cleaned up all the blood. Kuri abuji seroun jariye nuoshi hese. And we set up new sheets for my father. Abuji ga begel beshigo nuoshes. And my father laid down leaning on the pillow. Ja joshimseoki abuji ke chajaga takagas. And then I carefully approached my father. Abuji ken chansunnika. Father are you okay? Mm. Yes, I'm okay. 지금 내가 여만 피가 위자에 고여다 통한 오히려 시원했을 것 같아. And I think back now because he vomited the blood that had welled in his stomach, he must have at least felt a little better. 아버지 지금 형님도 안 계시는데. Father, older brother's not here. 만일에 아버지가 돌아가신다고 생각하면. And father, if you pass away. 우리가 아버지가 그리워질 때 아버지 음성을 듣고 싶어 내가 녹음기를 장치했어. I have this tape recorder, father, so that If we miss you we may hear your voice. 아버지가 괜찮으시면 우리에게 하실 이야기 얘기하시면 우리가 녹음해 놨다가 아버지를 기억날 때마다 듣고 하겠습니다. If it's okay with you father we want to record your words so that later on when we miss you we can listen to this tape. 아버지가 말씀하셨어요. My father spoke. 잘했다. Well done. 나는 안거 너희들에게 하고 싶은 이야기. Actually there were some things I wanted to tell you. 아버지가 이제 누워셔서 카세트 테이프에 한 시간짜리 테이프를 제가 걸었는데. And so father was lying down and it was a one hour cassette tape. 그한 시간 이제 거의 마쳐갈 쯤 돼서 아버지가 말씀을 마치셨어. And father spoke throughout the whole length of that one hour cassette tape. 아버지가 마지막 죽어 돌아가시기 전에 우리에게 유언을 하셨어. And so my father was leaving us his final words before his passing. 그동안에 우리가 몰랐던 많은 이야기 하고 싶었던 이야기를 하셨어. And many things he had been wanting to tell us that we had not known before. 그리고 우리에게 기뻤던 이야기, 섭섭했던 이야기 전부 다 하셨어. And the things that we want that he was happy about, things that he was sad about. 그리고 이제 마지막으로 아버지 입에서 하시는 말씀. And then finally what my father said was 아버지 당신의 죽음에 대한 이야기를 어렵게 입을 때. You know, father with difficulty began to speak about his own death. 내가 만일 죽으면 if i die. 너희들 그 재산 얼마 안 되는 가지고 다투지 마라. Don't fight over that little wealth that remains. <웃음> 뭐 재산 별로 뭐 재산을 할 것도 땅몇 마지기 뭐집뭐 뭐 얼마 있는 가지고 형제들 사이에 서로 다투지 마라. It's not even much wealth, just a little bit of land here and there. Don't fight amongst the brothers over this little wealth. 그래서 이제 아버지 당신이 죽음에 대한 이야기를 하셨어. And then father began to talk about his own death. 아버지는 지금 죽음 앞에 계십니다. My father was standing before death. 이제 피할래야 피할 수 없는 죽음이 아버지 앞에 기다리고 있는 걸 아버지. And we could tell that the inevitable death was right before him. 그리고 내가 죽거든. And then if I die, 내 장지를 뒷골에 있는 너 어머니 
탄소 바로 옆에 하면 좋겠다. Make sure you bury me in the back mountain next to your mother's tomb. 예, 그거 저희들 하도 어렵지 않지. Oh yes, father, we can do that. 그 다음에 이제 이야기하기 시작했어. And then he continued. 그리고 내가 죽거든 내 몸에 옷 갈아입힐 사람은 민 마을의 김 씨를 불러. And when I die, call Mr. Kim from the upper village, and he'll be the one to change my clothes on my body. I used to care for him since he was young. As he changes the clothes on my body, he will not call me dirty. 이제 그러면서 아버지가 유언을 카세트 테이프 한 시간짜리 앞뒤로 다 마칩니다. And with that, my father left his final words, one hour's length of words on that cassette tape. 아버지 한 시간 동안 저 유언하신 제일 마지막 부분이 아버지가 세상을 떠난 장례 이야기를 하십니다. And then towards the end of his talk, he talked about his own funeral. 제가 아버지 앞에 엎드려서 얼굴을 아버지 가까이 대고 이야기했어요. And so I bowed close to my my I bowed down. <웃음> Put my face close to his, and I spoke to my father. 만일 아버지께서 세상을 떠나신다면, Father, if you pass away, 아버지가 말씀하신 그대로 하나도 빠짐없이 저희들이 장례를 치러드립니다. Father, we will have the funeral exactly as you have said every single thing. 그 아버지의 몸은 우리가 어머니처럼 그렇게 모시겠습니다. And so, Father, your body we will care for like mother. 근데 아버지. 아버지 떠나 아버지 영혼은 어디로 가시겠습니까? But father, where would your spirit go? 아버지 이제 죽어 앞에 서셨습니다. Father, you are now standing before death. 이제 몇 시간 얼마 지나면 세상을 떠날 텐데. In a few hours, in a little bit, you're gonna pass away. 아버지가 가야 할그 자리에 대한 예 아버지는 가슴이 떨리기 시작. And father, that's where you're gonna go. And his heart began to tremble. 아 아무 말씀 안 하시다 한참 후에. And he didn't say anything. And after a long while, he just let out a deep sigh. 그리고 떨리는 목소리로 말씀하셨어요. And with a trembling voice, he said, 내가 하늘 나라에 가고 싶다. I want to go to heaven. 그런데 but 그런데 너무 늦었다. It's too late. 내가 무슨 선한 일을 한게 있어요, 할라. No, I need to have done some good to be able to go to heaven. 아버지는 아주 절망스러운 말로 말씀을 하셨어요. And my father spoke with very, very despairing words. 그때 제가 좋았다는 게딱두 가지가 있었는데. And right then, I was happy about two things. 첫째는 first, 내가 목사기 때문에. Because I'm a pastor. 아버지의 영혼을 구원받아서 재산 받을 수 있도록. I was so happy that I'm able to speak my father the gospel to lead him to salvation. 두 번째는 우리가 하늘 나라 가는 건 우리의 행위가 아니고 예수의 십자의 피의 공로로 가는 거죠. And the second thing was that we don't go to heaven because of our good deeds, but by the grace of the blood of Jesus Christ. 제가 쉬어가면서 한두 시간 동안. 아버지의 죄를 위하여 피해를 죽은 예수님을 이야기했어요. And so very slowly for two hours I explained to my father about the blood of Jesus that was shed for his sins. 아버지 예수님 왜 십자에 못 박혀 죽으셨느냐 하면 Why Jesus was crucified? 왜죄 없는 분이 창에 찔리고 못 박혀야 했느냐? Why this man who was without sin had to be crucified and struck with a spear? 그 우리 죄와 아버지 죄를 위해서 he died for ours and your sins, Father. 그때 예수 십자에 못 박혀 돌아가실 때. And right then, when Jesus was crucified, 아버지의 저지른 모든 죄가 십자가에서 다 처리가 됐습니다. All the sins that Father committed were taken care of at the cross. 이제 하나님이 아무리 찾아도 아버지 죄가 남아 있지 않도록 예수님 다 청벌을 받으셨습니다. And Jesus received all the punishment so that no matter how hard God looks, He cannot find any sin in you. 그 실제로 아버지가 머리에서 천국 가려면 어렵지만. 예수님 아버지 천국에서도 모든 일을 완벽하게 이루셨습니다. Father, if you were to do something to go to heaven, it would be impossible. But Jesus completed everything so that you can go to heaven. 아버지 예수님 십자에 못 박혀 돌아가실 때 제일 마지막에 하신 일이 말씀 무슨 말씀인지 아십니까? And Father, when Jesus died on the cross, do you know what the final words of Jesus were? 예수님 제일 마지막에 하신 말씀이 the last words 다 이루었다. The last words of Jesus, it is finished. 
끝냈다. Everything is finished. 아버지 죄를 사하는 일을 끝냈습니다. He finished forgiving your sins, Father. 그 이야기를 했을 때 아버지가 그렇게 감사해하고 제가 그날 구원을 받았습니다. And when I told him that, my father was so thankful and received salvation that day. 저희들 집에서 저희들이 살았던 대구는 거리가 한 100km 조금 못 되는 지역. At the house that we lived in, it was about 100 kilometers away from Tegu. 그래서 우리가 엠버런스를 오라고 해서 아버지를 모시고 고향까지 모시고 갔어요. And so we called an ambulance and took my father all the way to his hometown. 그 집은 아버지가 태어나신 집이고 일생 동안 사시던 집인데 그 집에 이제 아버지가 세상을 떠나시도록 해드리고 싶어요. And so if we took him to the house where he was born in and he lived there his whole life and we wanted to have our father pass away at that house. We arrived in the evening and father fell asleep immediately. And the next morning father awoke from his sleep and then he called me over. Hey, Eunsuk's father. Oh, yesterday night I came here so comfortably from Tegu. 내가 오면서 하나님이 나에게 평안하게 주신다는 걸 느꼈다. And on my way here, I could feel that it was God giving me peace. 나는 신앙의 가당을 잘 모른다. I don't know anything about spiritual life. 너희들 나를 위해서 찬송을 좀 불러 주었으면 좋겠다. I want you to sing some hymns to me. 저는 제가 그 당시에 나이가 서른이었는데. And at that time I was 30 years old. 30년 동안 우리 아버지 보았던 우리 아버지 아닌 다른 아버지였어. For 30 years I had seen my father, but that wasn't my father. It was somebody else. 내가 지난 30년 동안 본 우리 아버지는. The father that I had seen for 30 years. 우리 아버지가 아니야. Was not my father. 몸은 우리 아버지였지만. The body was my father's. 악한 영이 아버지 마음을 잡고 계셔. But the evil spirit had a hold on my father. 아버지의 늘 원망하는 이야기, 불평하는 이야기, 막 화난 이야기, 그런 이야기 늘 입이 가득. And my father, his mouth was always full of complaints and bitterness and anger. 저는 아버지 구원 받고 나신 뒤에 저희 고향에 와서 첫 마디가 그 말씀. But after my father received salvation, he came to our hometown. The first thing he said was, Oh, last night I rested so peacefully. I am so thankful to God. Why don't you sing some praises to me? Our whole family got together. And what I felt was, ah, this my father, what I've seen till now is not my father. It is my father, but but the evil spirit was inside of my father and put my father in so much sadness. And then there's my father and then my oldest brother 그리고 아버지 동생이 네 명이 있었어 남자. My father was the oldest brother, and then he had four younger brothers. 이제 태평양 전쟁 때 일본군에게 잡혀가서 밑에 세 번째 네 번째 동생이 세상을 떠났어. And so at the war of the Pacific, his third and fourth brothers they passed away in the war. 그 태평양 전쟁에서 일본하고 연합군하고 이제 전쟁을 했기 때문에. And so the Allied forces fought against the Japanese forces at the War of the Pacific. 이제 아버지가 계시고 두 번째 삼촌 일본에 계신 그 삼촌이고. And so there's my father, and his the second one is the uncle in Japan. 세 번째 작은 아버지, 네 번째 작은 아버지가 태평양 전쟁에서 전사를 당하셨어. And then the third and fourth day were my uncles who passed away in the world of Pacific. 이제 한국 전에 마지막에 막내 삼촌에 가셨는데 유교 전쟁에 사가운 아버지가 세상을 떠나죠. And then my youngest uncle he passed away in the Korean War. 이제 작은 막내 작은 아버지 돌아가실 때는 한국 정부에서 그 전사 통지서가 왔고 전사 경위 그런 것을 전부 다 우리에게 전달했어. And so when my youngest uncle passed away, the Korean government sent us a telegram telling, giving us that information. 아버지의 셋째 넷째 동생 저희 삼촌 되는 분은 일본군에 잡혀갔기 때문에 
전사 통지서도 전사 그런 것도 없고 저 경위도 전혀 모르고 그냥 기다리다 그냥 전쟁 끝안 돌아왔기 때문에 우리는 돌아가신 거예요. But the third and fourth uncles they died in the world of the Pacific. The Japanese took them, so there was no notice, no telegram, no information at all. 아버지 사랑하는 동생 세 명을 전쟁터에서 잃었어. And so my father lost three of his loving younger brothers through wars. 그래서 1951년도에 어머니 사랑하는 어머니를 아내를 아버지는 And then in 1951, my father lost my mother, who was his loving wife. 그래서 우리 아버지 삶에 항상 마음 밑바닥에 슬픔이 가득 차. And that's why always at the bottom of my father's heart, he was full of sadness. 아버지 얼굴을 보면 늘 슬픔 속에 절여진 얼굴이. And when I looked at my father's face, it was always full of sadness. 그는 그날 죄사함을 받고 난 뒤. But that day, after receiving the forgiveness of sins, 아버지 옛날 우리 아버지가 아니었어. My father was no longer the same father. 감사가 넘치고. He overflowed with thankfulness. 교회 가서 한 번도 기도드린 적이 없고. He had never been to church before to pray. 성경 한절 읽어본 적이 없고. He had never read one verse in the Bible. 찬송 한번 불러보신 적이 없고. He had never sang one hymn. 헌금 십 원도 낸 적이 없었습니다. He had never paid a dime of offering. 그리고 설교 한 번도 들어본 적이 없었어. And he had never listened to one sermon. 아버지 사랑하는 둘째 아들을 통해서 복음을 듣는 그날. But my father, when he heard the gospel through the second son, through my loving through his son, 아버지는 죄 사함을 받으시고. My father received the forgiveness of sins. 악한 영에서 벗어나서. He was free from the evil spirit. 하나님의 아들이 되셨습니다. And he became a son of God. 그래 아버지 안에 하나님의 성령이 살아 역사하는 걸 보았어. And we saw the Holy Spirit of God living and working inside of my father. 그때 우리 아버지는 지금까지 보았던 우리 아버지. And right then, my father wasn't the same person that we had seen until now. 아침 식사가 끝났습니다. Break. We just we finished having breakfast. 아버지가 저를 불렀습니다. My father called me in. 저희 고향인 아버지가 어릴 때 태어나서 지금까지 자라는 아버지 친구들이 다. And so in my father's hometown are my father's friends who my father grew up with. 너 누구 누구 누구를 좀 불러와라. Call over so and so so and so and so and so. 내가 인사를 하고 싶다. I want to say farewell. 불러왔습니다. I brought them over. 어르신 저희 아버지가 몸이 편찮으신데. And I told him, sirs, my father is feeling sick. 뵙자고 합니다. They, he would like to see you. 그래, 너 아버지 요즘 어떠시냐? Oh yeah, how's your father doing? 아, 죄송합니다. 아버지가 더 오래 못 사실 것 같습니다. I'm sorry, but I don't think my father is going to live long. 그래? Really? 아버지 친구들이 찾아왔어. And my father's friends came to see him. 아버지가 이야기했어. And my father said, 나는 어려서 여기서 태어나서. 지금까지 한 평생 이 동네에서 보내. And I was born here and I lived my whole life in this village. 내가 좋아했던 건내 친구 자네들이다. And what I enjoyed was you, my friends. 자네와 같이 있는 우리는 즐겁고 행복했다. While I was with you, we were happy and joyful. 근데 나는 먼저 간다. But I'll be leaving before you. 난 우리 둘째 저 엄숙이 애비 믿는 예수 믿고 할라. But I believe in the Jesus that my second son believes in, and I'm going to be going to heaven. 내가 가서 좋은 자리를 많이 확보해 놓을 테니까. I'll go there first and prepare a nice place for us. 자네들도 이 예수님을 믿고 우리 은숙이 애비 믿는 예수님 믿고. And so you too should believe in the Jesus that 은숙's father believes in. 우리가 지금까지 살때 너무 즐겁고 행복했는데 그 나라에 가서 같이 그래 살자. And we've had so much fun and happiness in our lives till now, but let's continue that in that land. 우리 두째 은숙이 애비 믿는 예수님 믿기만 하면. Just go ahead and believe in the Jesus that my second son and his father believed in, and receive the forgiveness of sins. 그래서 우리 아버지는 친구들에게 예수를 믿으러 간고 가겠죠. And my father urged his friends to believe in Jesus. 그리고 또 다른 친구를 불러와라. And he would invite other friends over. 두 명, 세 명을 앉혀놓고. And they would come in two, three at a time. 야들아, 그 마실 것좀 준비해라. 음식 좀 준비해라. He would tell us prepare some food for them, give them some drinks. 아버지 친구들이 아무도 아버지 앞에 음식을 먹진 않았습니다. And so our friend, the father's friends, didn't eat anything before my father. 마지막에 아버지가 복음을 전하기 시작. And then finally, my father would preach the gospel to them. 제가 암만 봐도 내가 지금까지 보아. No matter how much I looked, it was not the same father that I had seen till now. 몸은 꼭 같은 우리 아버지, 우리를 낳아 주시고 우리를 길러 주신 아버지신데. The 
the body was the same father who gave birth to us and who raised us. But now my father had so much peace. And he was so thankful. And he was so joyful. And he wanted to talk about Jesus. And my father doesn't know the Bible. And he needed to witness but he did not know, know what to say. And my father, this was how he witnessed. 그리고 우리 사촌 형님들이 여러분 모셨습니다. And then many of my older cousins came over. 아버지가 말씀하셨습니다. My father said to them. 너희들 어릴 때 우리 집에 이런 일이 있었다. When you guys were young, this and this happened to our family. 너 아버지가 살때 옛날에 이런 일이 있었다. When your father was alive, he used to do this and that. 그러면서 지난 과거에 재앙들을 재난들을 and he talked about all the hardships and the tribulations of the past. 우리 사촌 형들은 좀잘 살기 때문에. And my older cousins, they're kind of rich, so they're kind of arrogant. But my father preached the gospel to every one of them. Let's go to heaven. And then at 11 at night, my father fell asleep. And he snored and he snored and he fell asleep. And at night, he slept very well. And the next morning, around 9 o'clock, 아버지가 숨을 거두셨습니다. My father passed away. 모두 울었습니다. Everyone cried. 전 아버지가 돌아 눈물 흘리지 않았습니다. I did not shed a tear when my father passed away. 너무 너무 감사했어요. And I was so thankful. 아버지가 몸이 불편한 걸 안고 바로 일본에 형님에게 전화를 드렸나. And so when my father was sick, I called my father, my older brother in Japan right away. 그때 일본에 비행기 항로가 많지 않았습니다. At the time, there were not many flights from Japan. 형님 비행기 표를 샀는데 좌석을 얻질 못했어. And my older brother wanted to buy an airplane ticket, but there were no seats. 이제 배를 타고 오셨는데. And so he came on a boat. 아버지가 세상 떠나시고 몇 시간 뒤에. And my father, my older brother, arrived at the house a few hours after my father passed away. 형님은 일 평생 아버지를 모셔 섬겼는데. My older brother served and lived with my father his whole life. 형님은 늘 아버지 돌아가시 나는 불효자다, 불효자다 그 이야기를 했어. And my older brother would always say, I'm a bad son, I'm a bad son. 그날 나는 속으로 형님한테 난 듣게 내 속으로 나는 소정입니다. But inside of my heart, even though I didn't say it out loud to my older brother, I said, "I'm a good son." 정말 나는 소정입니다. Really, I'm a good son. 형님은 일평생 아버지를 섬기셨고. My father, my older brother, served my father his whole life. 아버지 돌아가신 뒤에 그렇게 형님이 슬퍼하시고 슬퍼하시. And after my father passed away, my older brother was so sad. 그 아버지 돌아가시 한 번도 슬퍼하지 않아. But I was not one sad after my father passed away. And at the time we had the funeral. In the back mountain, we made a tomb for my father next to my mother's. And we opened the lunch box. And so I love to eat boiled pork, and there was lots of boiled pork in the lunch box. And so, and so I had been working all day long, so I finished that whole box, lunch box of food and the boiled pork. And it was so delicious, I got another lunch box and I told my brother, wow, this is good, and I ate another one. My older brother became wide-eyed and he stared at me. You know, I thought you were a pastor. Your father, your father just passed away, and you're talking about how good the pork is. Are you out of your mind? I thought that's what he was saying. I was joyful. Even though my father passed away. You know, my, before my father's passing, it was a big homework in my heart for him to receive salvation. But God opened the way for my father's salvation. If my older brother didn't go to Japan, if my older brother served my father, then my father would have passed away without salvation. But God heard our prayers. And in order to save my father, God made father stay at my house. And as he had my father receive salvation before his passing, and as my father vomited blood, my father realized he was in front of death. 
아버지가 구원을 받고 And my father received salvation before he passed. 그날 저녁 저는 뒷뜰에 가서 혼자 상복을 입었기 때문에 맨땅에 무릎을 꿇었습니다. And so that night I went to the backyard and I just kneeled down on the ground. 눈을 들어 하늘을 쳐다봤습니다. I lifted my eyes and looked up to the sky. 하늘의 별들이 바짝 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 빛났어. And the stars in the sky were sparkling so bright. And I felt so happy. I began to cry. 하나님, God, 감사합니다. Thank you. 제 어머니는 제가 여덟 살때 세상 떠나셨기 때문에. My mother passed away when I was eight. 아무 철도 없이 어머니 세상 떠나 보내셨지만. And so I didn't know anything when my mother passed away. 아버지 제가 장성했고 목사가 돼서 복음을 죄 사함을 받으시고. But my father passed away after I became a pastor, after I preached the gospel to him, after he received salvation. Once in a while, when I think about my father, occasionally I go to my hometown to my father's tomb. There's the tomb where my mother and father are lying down next to one another. Now, when my father resurrects, when the Lord returns, you know, before you go to heaven, see me first. 정말 제 마음에 다시 부활할 예수 아버지의 생각 너무 너무 감사. And when I think about my father to see him again when we resurrect, I'm so thankful. 여러분 저는 죄악 속에 젖어 있어서. I was fallen inside of sin. 아버지 하나님께서 내 안에 일을 하실 수가 없었어. God was unable to work inside of me. 여호와의 손이 짧아 구원치 못하신 나는 귀가 두네 듣지 못하신 나. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he can he cannot save, neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. 오직 너희 죄악이 너희와 너희 하나님 사이를 내어. But your sins have separated between you and your God. And your iniquities have turned his face from you that he will not hear. And with that, I was always struggling and suffering in sin. October 7th, 1962. That day early in the evening, I met Jesus. And through Jesus, all my sins were washed as white as snow. 그날부터 제가 무슨 일을 하든지 하나님 나를 도와주. And from that time, no matter what I did, God helped me. 우리 가까운 우리 가족들 다 구원해 주셨어. And He saved everyone in my family. 우리 가까운 친척들 다 구원해. And all my close relatives were saved. The story is getting long. There is my father's immediate younger brother in Japan. And so the other younger brothers all passed away. Only my father and his younger brother remained. 그 작은 아버지는 나를 일본 데려가서 작은 아버지 사업에 저와 같이 일하길 원했어요. And my uncle, he wanted to take me to Japan with him to do his business. 저는 그 작은 아버지 하고 가서 사업 같이 하려고 일본 갈 준비를 했습니다. And I was getting ready to go to Japan to do business with my uncle. 제가 그때 일본 말을 굉장히 참 많이 배웠습니다. And at that time, I learned a lot of Japanese. 그때 늘 아리가도 고다이마스하고 일본 말을 했습니다. And I used to always speak Japanese, saying 아리가도 고다이마스. 근데 이제 그러다 제가 그때 구원을 받았어요. And then around that time I got saved. 그래서 일본 가는 걸 포기하고 I gave up on going to Japan. 복음 일을 하게 됐어요. And I was doing the work of the gospel. 근데 일본 작은 아버지는 저를 정말 사랑하셨어요. But my uncle in Japan really loved me. 제가 작은 아버지가 일본 가서 재혼을 하셨기 때문에. And my uncle went to Japan and got remarried. 제일 큰 아들이 나보다 네살 아래였어요. And his oldest son was four years younger than me. 그래서 제가 작은 아버지 가는 사업에 같이 도와주면 일하셨으면 참 좋아하셨어. And he was really he wanted me to be in his business to help him out. 그때 일본 가려고 그런 걸 준비하는 제대로 잘 되질 않았어. At the time I was getting ready to go to Japan, but it didn't work out. 저는 준비가 다 되어서 내가 이제 일본 갈수 있었을 때 저는 구원을 받고 선교학교에 있었어. And when I was about to be ready to go to Japan, I got saved and I entered the missionary school. 근데 이제 작은 아버지는 이제 문제가 뭐냐면. But the problem with my uncle is. 아버지는 구원 받으셨는데 Even though my father was saved 작은 아버지는 작은 아버지는 구원을 받기를 싫어했어요. But my uncle refused to receive salvation. 작은 아버지 일본 토속 종교 창가 학회라는 걸 믿었어요. And so he believed in a local Japanese religion called 창가 학. 창가 학회. 창가 학회. 예. 이런 세배였어요. 
남묘 호랑개조 남묘 호랑개조 남묘 호랑개조 남묘 호랑개조 And so every early morning he'd be chanting Namyo Horangyo, Namyo Horangyo, Namyo Horangyo. He would chant. No, he's better than me. And occasionally when I would go to Japan, I would sit my Japanese cousins down. I would, I would open the Bible and preach the gospel to them. And my uncle hated it. He was so afraid his sons might follow my religion instead of his. And he could not tell me to stop. He would just smoke. And I would preach the gospel. And And there was this gospel book that I wrote, and it was in Japanese. I would give it to my cousins. My, my uncle would take all those books to keep my cousins from reading them. And he said, Let me read them first. And he buried them all under the bed. And did not let anyone read those books. My uncle lived to the age of 96. And he had a head cancer. And then he went to the hospital. The doctor said, you have head cancer. And they said, you have to get surgery. And my uncle was very scared of surgery. He said, I'm not getting surgery. Well then, sir, you're going to die. I've lived long enough. It's okay even if I die. I'm just going to die. Don't put a blade on my body. And then the doctor said, Then no need for you to stay at this hospital. You're discharged. Okay, I'm discharged. The doctor said, Sir, your brain cancer is pushing down on your uh, breathing pipes. And so your esophagus is only as, you know, it's as narrow as a toothpick right now. Once that gets plugged, you're going to die. If you have bad position in the car on the way home, you might die. You might die in your sleep. You might die on the street. And that was what the doctor said. Uncle said, okay, I'll die. I'm 96. I lived a lot. It's okay if I die, but I'm not getting surgery. And they discharged my uncle. He was discharged. And the doctor said, you may die in the car on your way. No matter what the doctor says, I'm going to die. I don't care. I'm not getting surgery. And then my uncle came home and lived one more year. And during that one year, he was always thinking about death in his heart. The doctor said, you could die in your sleep. You could die on the street. And so while he lived at home for one year, my uncle always thought about death. And now death was near. A heart that he did not have before began to rise in him. And before he used to always say, Nam myo rangye gyo, nam myo rangye gyo, nam myo rangye gyo. And he was always confident in his heart. But he was losing confidence as he was nearing death. But he was losing confidence as he was nearing death. And as my uncle began to lose confidence before death, my uncle who used to say, his voice got smaller and smaller. 
그 점점 전에는 죽음에 자신 있는데 죽음이 가까울 가까울수록 두렵고 자신 Before he was confident before death, but closer death he got, the more afraid and less confident he had. When he was healthy, he was so strong, saying, But even when he got sick and nearing death, the you could not give him any comfort to his heart. And from then on, the sound of the came to an end. 점점 자신 losing more and more confidence in my uncle's heart. 남미 호랑개가 나를 구원하지 못하면 어떡하냐? What if the 남미 호랑개가 cannot save me? 난 죄가 많은데. I have so many sins. 그 작은 아들 불안해 견딜 수. And my uncle was so afraid he could not bear it. 어떻게 할 수가 없었어? He couldn't do anything. 작은 엄마가 보았으니까. And my aunt saw this. 어느 날 작은 아들 침대 밑으로 끼어들어. And then my uncle went underneath his bed one day. 작은 아버지 엄마가 뭘 하는 거 보니까. And my aunt was looking. What's he doing? 침대 밑에 끼어들어서 그 책을 전부 꺼집어내. He crawled underneath the bed and pulled out all the books. 거기서 제가 쓴책 가운데 죄 사함 거듭 남의 비밀 책을 손에 잡아. And of the books, there was a book that I wrote, The Secret of Forgiveness of Sins and Being Born Again. 그 책을 매일 한 열흘 동안을 쉬지 않고 읽고 읽고. 읽고. And he read that book every day for ten days. 어느 날 작은 아버지 책을 읽으시다. And one day, while my uncle was reading the book, 무릎을 탁 치는 거예요. He slapped his knee. 이게 진리다. This is the truth. 이 진리다. This is the truth. 우리 조카 말이 맞다. My nephew was right. 우리 조카가 정말 큰 사람이다. My nephew is a great man. 이게 진리야. This is the truth. 그날 that day, 작은 아버지 책을 읽고 구원을 받으셨어요. My uncle read that book and received salvation. 그 작은 아버지, 작은 엄마에게 이야기했어요. And my uncle told his wife, 당신이 책 읽어라. You should read this book. 그리고 작은 어머니도 얼마 못 read that book, heard the gospel, and received salvation. 우리 형님이 구원받은 일. How my older brother got saved. 우리 누님이 구원받은 일. How my sisters got saved. 우리 동생이 구원받은 일. How my younger brother got saved. 저는 전 여러 나라에 또 다른 도시에 다니라고 거의 고향에 가지 못했지만. I'm always traveling to other countries and cities, and I barely can go home. 아버지는 내게 가까운 모든 문한문한 문을 구원받을 수 있도록 하나님 인도하는 걸. But my father and all the people who were near me, God was leading them one by one to receive salvation. 여러분 우리가 하나님을 어떻게 믿는 게참잘 믿는 겁니다. Everyone, what is the right way to believe in God? 우리 어떻게 예수님을 믿어야 할까요? How are we supposed to believe Jesus? 헌금을 많이 하면 됩니까? Give lots of offering. 기도를 많이 하면 됩니까? Pray a lot. 성경을 많이 읽어야 합니까? Does it mean to read the Bible a lot? 남을 봉사를 해야 합니까? Or serve others a lot? 이 성경에서 이야기하게 하는 이야기는 But what the Bible is telling us is 세상에 일어나는 모든 일은 어떤 뭐 역사에서 이루어져 가겠지만 All the things that happen in the world happens through some work 성경이란 모든 이야기는 마음의 상태에 따라 만들어지는 이야기를 하고 있어. But the words of the Bible tell us about what happens based on the condition of the heart. 오늘 우리는 요한복음 4장 사마리아 여자에 관한 글을 읽었어. Everyone today we read about John chapter 4 about the Samaritan woman. 자 이제 사마리아 여자가 우물가에 물을 길러 왔는데 거기서 예수님을 만나. And the Samaritan woman came to the well to draw water and she met Jesus. 여자가 보고 예수님이 물을 좀 달라고 하는 이야기로 예수님과 여자의 대화가 시작. And the Jesus asked this woman for some water, and that's how the conversation between the two begin. 그때 여자가 뭐라고 말해? 당신은 유대인으로서 어찌하여 사마리아 여자 나에게 그렇게 시작하면서 대화가 시작. And so the conversation starts with this woman saying to Jesus, "How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria?" 자 이제 우리는 성경을 읽으면서 as we read the Bible. 성경에 나타난 마음의 세계를 알지 못하면 If we don't know the world of the heart shown in the Bible 실제로 성경을 아는 게 아닙니다. 
That is not knowing the Bible. 이제 우리가 이 요한복음 4장 사마리 여자 이야기에서 In John chapter 4 in the story of the Samaritan woman 분명히 성경은 예수님하고 사마리 여자고 마음이 다른 걸 이야기 Surely Jesus is telling us about how the heart of Jesus and the Samaritan woman is different. 그 당시 유대인들은 사마리아인하고 상종을 하지 않았어요. At the time the Jews did not have any dealings with Samaritans. 옛날에 사마리아는 이스라엘의 수도였어요. A long time ago Samaria used to be the capital of Israel. 수백 년 전에 hundreds of years earlier 아수르 왕이 와서 사마리아를 쳐서 사마리아를 성을 무너뜨렸어요. King of Assyria came struck Samaria and destroyed Samaria. 그러면서 이제 이들이 토, 독립을 하지 못하도록 하기 위하여 and to keep them become, from becoming independent 사마리아 유대인들만 같이 있는 그것을 섞어서 혼혈적을 만들기 위하여 and so in order to blend the Samaritan people the Jews uh, with outside blood to make them mixed blood 이스라엘 수도 사마리아에 사는 백성을 수많은 사람을 잡아가지고 해외로 끌고 왔습니다 they took tens of thousand people who lived in Samaria and took them abroad 그리고 해외에 있는 수많은 사람들을 불러다가 사마리아 살게 했어요. And made people who are living abroad come and live in Samaria. 그래서 그 사마리아는 혼혈적을 만들었어요. And so they made people of Samaria to have mixed blood. 독일 민족이면 독립하려고 애를 쓰고 하기 때문에. Because if they're of one blood, they'll unite and try to be independent. 혼혈적을 만들어 전부 섞어 버렸기 때문에. But they bled, mixed the blood and made the mixed blood 그 people. 사마리아 사는 사람들 혼혈적이기 때문에. And so the people of Samaria are of mixed blood. 유대인들이 사마리아 사람들 개와 같이 치고. The Jews treated Samaritans like dogs. 같이 음식을 먹지 않고 they would not eat with them. 같이 대화하지 않냐고. They wouldn't talk with 그랬어요. them. That's what they did. 그런데 예수님께서 여자에게 물을 달라고 그랬어. But Jesus asked this woman for water. 하마리 여자 굉장히 어하게. 당신 유대인인데 어떻게 개 같은 사마리인에게 물을 달라 합니까? You're a Jew. How do you ask a Samaritan like me, a dog, for water? 여자의 마음에 그 이야기를 하는 거예요. That's what this woman is saying. 여자 이해가 안 갔어요. This woman could not understand. Surely you're a Jew. How are you asking for water from a dirty Samaritan like me? What the Bible is telling us is there was, there was Jesus and the Samaritan woman. The Bible precisely tells us that the hearts of these two people were completely at different places. And the Samaritan woman could not understand what Jesus was saying. He's a Jew. You know, he is conversing with me. Like He's asking me for water. I don't understand. That's right. We cannot understand all that Jesus does. In school, when you study in school, 학생들 가운데 성적 분포도 어떻게 나타나냐면 Among students, the grade distribution is 아, 현재 제일 잘하는 학생들 한 5% 정도 꼭대기에 있어요. At the top, there's the 5% of the students who are really, really excellent. 그리고 아주 돌대가리 자갈밭. And then the stone heads. 그 밑에 제일 밑한 5% 좀 있어요. There's the bottom 5% at the very bottom. 그, 그 아예 공부 포기하고. The guys who've given up on studying. 그리고 이제 더 위로 5% 밑에 한 20% 정도. And then up top beneath the first 5% there's the 20%. 머리 좀잘 공부 좋은 잘 아이들 몇명 있어요. You know we're pretty smart who get pretty good marks. 더 밑에 자갈밭 차라리 거기다 조금 난 20% 밑바닥에 깔려. And then there's the worst 5% and then the 20% above them at the bottom. 그래서 이제 30, 40%, 이제 50%가 빠져나가. And so that's how the first 50% is distributed. 그 나머지 가운데 50%가 끼어 있어. And then the remaining 50% is in between in the middle. 그래서 여러분 이제 꼭 같은 학교라도 사람들 생각의 차이, 성적의 차이 그렇게 나. So even though they're in the same school, there is a difference in scores and difference in thought. 그런데 이제 아주 머리가 좋은 사람하고 머리가 나쁜 사람하고 차이가 있는. But there's a difference between those that are so smart and those that are dumb. But among people, there are people who are just average. But of the people, people who are really brilliant, the people who belong to the 1% of intelligence, 
the difference in thought it's big. 그 밑에 사람들 돌 자갈 받은 돌 이해가 안 가는. And the people at the bottom one percent they can't understand. 그래서 여러분 역사가 하는 이야기 가운데서. And so what history tells us is 영웅은 고독하다. It says that the heroes are lonely. 맞습니까? Is that true? 뛰어난 생각하는 사람은 아주 고독하다. People who have the most brilliant thoughts are very lonely. 이 한국이 남북 전쟁을 했어. When Korea had the war between the north and the south. 그 이북에서 오래 또한 전쟁 중. And so for a long time the north had prepared for the war. 그리고 이북의 간첩이 남한에 굉장히 많이 침투했어. And there were many spies from the north operating in South Korea. 그때 1950년 6월 25일 날 이북에서 김일성 군대들이 남한을 쳐들어 왔는데 And June 25th 1950 the North Korean soldiers of Kim Il Sung invaded South Korea. 그때 우리 남한 군대가 어떻게 됐냐면 전후방 교체가 바로 한 열흘 전에 있었어요. About 10 days previously there was an exchange between uh, the soldiers on the borders and the soldiers in the inland. 그러니까 이제 우리가 최전방에 있던 사람 전부 후방으로 빠지고 And so all the soldiers who were at the borders they were removed to the inlands. 후방 부대가 전부 전방에 갔어요. And the soldiers in the inlands were sent to the borders. 그리고 일주일도 채안 돼서 전쟁이 일어났어요. And then about 10 days after that the war began. 지금 우리가 분석하는 것은 And so what we can learn from that is 그때 남한의 군인 가운데 상당히 고위급 장교들이 이북 스파이였다는 at that time, many senior army officers of South Korea were actually North Korean spies. 1960, 1950년 6월 25일 이북에 쳐들어올 때. And so on June 25th in 1950, when North Korea attacked, 그 전방에 있는 모든 군장은 전부 전후방 교체가 되었기 때문에. And because all the soldiers who were at the border, they had just been replaced. 거기에서 어느 누구도 정확한 지형을 안 사는 면서 전투에 어려. None of them knew exactly what to do when the war break out, broke out. 문제는 그것만이 아닙니다. And that wasn't the only problem. 그날 유교 사변하는 날 일어난 날 전부에 그런 일이 없었는데. And so they used to never do something like this before, but on the day before the North the Korean War, 전 군인의 16%가 휴가를 갔습니다. 16% of all soldiers were out on vacation. 군대가 거의 비었어. And so all the armies were pretty much. And there's something amazing also. You know, the ammunitions and the cannons that are used by the military of South Korea. 거의 그한 30%나 되는 전차 이런 기계들이 정비한다는 목적으로 정비 공장에 들어가 있어. And the 30% of the tanks and military cars they were put in the repair shops for repair. 그리고 그 다음에 또 중요한 것은. And another important thing was. 1960년 이 1950년 6월 25일은 일요일이었어. And so June 25th, 1950 was a Sunday. 근데 그날 토요일 저녁에 전 군인들이 밤에 술을 마시면서 야유회를. And Saturday night, the night before, every soldier were drinking and partying. 그래서 그날 아침에 일어나 전부 술 취해 비틀 비틀 뭐 정황을 살펴 밤새도록 술을 마셨. And so the next morning, the war is breaking out, but they had drunk all night long. They were hungover. They were lost. 그래서 여러분 그 이북의 서울까지 다 돌아온 3일 만에 서울이 그냥 함락. And so when the North Koreans attacked, in three days they were able to conquer Seoul. 그리고 이제 그 다음에 계속 밀어 내려오는. And they pushed their way down. 이제 그 이제 마지막 한뭐 조금 한 10% 땅을 남고 다 빼앗. And then only 10% of South Korea was remaining. North Koreans had taken over everything else. 그때 우리나라 대통령이 이승만 대통령인데. At the time, President of South Korea was President Lee Sung Man. 대한민국에는 가난했고 부자고 연약했는데 그 대통령은 굉장히 지혜롭고 외교에 아주 뛰어난. And so uh, Korea was very poor and weak at the time, but that president was very intelligent and very good at diplomacy. 그래서 그 이승만 대통령이 미국의 유엔에 군사 요청을 했습니다. And so President Lee Sung Man asked for soldiers from the United States and from the UN. UN 이 생기고 난 뒤에 After the formation of the UN, 개인 한 나라 전쟁에 열여섯 개 나라가 참여하는 일은 없었습니다. They had never had 16 nations come to defend one nation. 
이승만 대통령이 외교를 정말 잘해서 미월 위시대한 열여덟 개 나라가 우리 나 대한민국을 구하러 왔어. 그때 이승만 대통령은 얘기했습니다. 대한민국 사람들은 토속 신화를 가지고 있었는데 이제 우리가 예수님을 믿기 시작했다. 하나님의 자녀가 북한 무신론자 공산주의에게 죽는다고 막 소리쳤습니다. And he cried out saying, "People who believe in God now are being defeated by uh, atheists from North Korea." 그는 미국의 수많은 군인들이 들어왔고, 그 다음에 세계 열여덟 개 나라에서 군인들이 와서 다시 이제 진격을 하죠. And so many American soldiers came, and also soldiers from 16 nations came to Korea, and we began to fight back. 그때 이제 우리가 이북 부대보다 우세하게. And at that time, we became stronger than the North Korean soldiers. 그때 한국군 사령관은 배가 더 원수였어. And at that time, General MacArthur was the commander for the military. 그분이 이제 진격에 올라가시. And he began to fight back and make our way up. 이제 그분이 서울 근교의 적진 속에 밤에 돌아왔어. And then he returned to the midst of the enemy in the Seoul area. 거기에 이제 한 청년이 방공호에 있습니다. And then there was a young man in the barracks. 그는 울고 있었습니다. And he was crying. 그 너는 왜 철수를 하지 않았느냐? 왜 후퇴하지 않았냐? Why did you not retreat? 그 Douglas MacArthur가 물었어요. Douglas MacArthur asked him. 그리고 그 말기를 저는 후퇴 명령을 받지 못했어요. He says I did not receive an order to retreat. 아무도 철수는 혼자 했어요. And so he was just guarding the place all by himself. 그 이곳에 우리 어머니가 살아 계십니다. And in some city my mother lives there. And when MacArthur heard this from him, he was touched. And so tell me whatever it is that you need or you want. Just give me a gun and enough ammunition. And so I will die guarding this place. And these words deeply touched the heart of General MacArthur. And he made up his mind to really fight for Korea. 그래서 이제 그 당시에 현 전선에서 서울까지 간데 255km. And so at that point, from the battle frontier all the way up to Seoul would be 255km. 매 255km를 진격에 올라가는 매 킬로당에. And so to make their way up to recover Seoul, it's 255 kilometers, but about 10,000 people would have to die each kilometer they recover. And right then, General MacArthur planned for the Incheon landing operation. And so the scary thing about the Incheon landing operation was that the northern soldiers were all waiting in Incheon. 소수 간만 차이가 9미터나 되었어. And then the difference in tides it would vary by nine meters. 작전 시간에 맞지 않아서 이제 물이 뻗어 나가면. You know, if the water is all drawn out when they land. 수키로가 되는 그 뭡니까 그 개퍼를 군인들 올라와요. And so the soldiers would have to walk across the the inland, the beach, for kilometers. So the 기관총 하나만 갈고 갈기면은. And if they have just a machine gun and blow them away, 전부 다 전멸할 수밖에 없는 그런. Everybody would be destroyed. 인천 상륙 작전에 성공할 확률은 5천 분의 1이었습니다. And the success rate for the Incheon landing operation was one over five thousand. 메가드 장군은 왜그 일을 선택했나요? 많은 사람들이 이야기했습니다. 당신은 놀만디처럼 정말 이번 전쟁을 끝내고 명예롭게 군복을 벗고 대통령에 나설라고 하지요. You know, you are after you, the war in Normandy. You want to retire gloriously and you want to run for the presidency, don't you? 그런 미국의 트럼프 대통령도 그 작전을 허락하지 않았어. And the President Truman of America would not permit this plan. And many generals of many nations opposed this plan. This is too dangerous. This is irresponsible. It's the same as suicide. 
right then MacArthur began to move forward with this. And the first thing that MacArthur did was he began to leak false information. He did not tell the UN that we are going to do the Incheon landing operation. And UN is planning for the Wonsan landing operation. He began to leak false information. And he would leak other false information. All UN soldiers are going to land in Hamum. Or they're planning to go to Kunsan. And MacArthur leaked a lot of false information. And then the enemy imagined. Ah, UN is planning for a landing operation. Are they, are they coming to Hamum or Wonsan? Where are they coming? They could not get a feel for it. And so their success rate is one in 5,000. Nobody believed that MacArthur would go for the Incheon landing operation. Because there was no way that it could work. Because the soldiers would have to walk up the long beach. And also there is this cliff. And you cannot climb that cliff. You know, there has to be a lamp that shines the light on it. And so General MacArthur planned to climb that hill by using a ladder. And a special forces would go and take over the lighthouse. And turn on the light at the lighthouse. And then first from the ship they would strike the city of Incheon. And then the special forces would take over the lighthouse. And they turn on the light at the lighthouse. And then using the light from the lighthouse, they set up the ladder to climb up that nine-meter cliff. And then the, the soldiers were able to come across that long beach. And as we see these things, I was so amazed that God, He loved us. And loved the pitiful person like me and saved me. I don't know how to do anything. I don't know anything at all. But one day I received the forgiveness of sins. Before there was this room my friends and I hung out in. When I go to that room with my friends, we would steal apples, we would smoke and drink, and that's where I hung out every night. And the next early morning, I would go to church begging for forgiveness. And because I cannot refuse to believe in Jesus, but my sins would not be washed. And I would say, God, don't let me go there tonight. But early morning, October 7, 1962, I was able to clearly know that by the blood of my Jesus, my sins are all washed. Right then, amazing change began to come to my life. I used to say, I shouldn't go there at night. No, I don't want to sin. I can't go there. But I went there every night. I went there every night. But that day from the day I received the forgiveness of sins I was no longer going there I was reading the Bible and after some time my friends asked me hey Oksu where have you been where did you go where did you go every night why weren't you there I was starting to change. Jesus came to my heart. 
물리치시고. Ambitions, desires, pleasures. Jesus defeated them all. 내 마음에 주로 오셨어. And he came as the Lord to my heart. 주 예수 내 마음에 들어와 계신 후 변하여 새 사람 되고. After the Lord Jesus came into my heart, I've changed and turned into a new person. 내가 널 부르는 찬송 마음의 찬송이 되었어. This praise that I used to always sing now became a praise of my heart. 더 나서 내가 더 장군은 장군이 가진 그 뜻을 이해한 사람 아무도 없었어. And so Douglas MacArthur, nobody understood his will. And President Truman was completely against him. 그러나 그는 미국에서 대통령 특사가 올 때마다 메가 다우 싸웠어. And so whenever there was a special messenger from America, he always fought with MacArthur. And so MacArthur, even though he was a general, the messenger was higher. You know, are you out of your mind? He would say to MacArthur, You know, how would you become a general with that mind? You make no sense. And the messenger from president would come and always rebuke MacArthur. But MacArthur, he wanted to use his heart for these people in front of God. And then the Incheon landing operation. It spared the blood of many, many young people. People who could plan such things, people with just ordinary thoughts, could never do something like that. And so MacArthur, he wanted to end his career at the War of the Pacific. And the War of the Pacific was against islands. And as MacArthur fought in many islands in the War of the Pacific, he specialized in landing operations. There was nobody on earth who has done as many landing operations as MacArthur. And I believe because God loved Korea, sent a general like that to have us receive this kind of grace in Korea. Last summer, in IYF, we had a big concert in Korea. And we bought an airplane ticket for a Korean War veteran and brought him to Korea. And when he came to Korea in 1950, he was 19 years old. And he told us in detail about the Korean War. And he said he never wanted to come to Korea again. But he came to Korea. And in front of the audience of 20,000 students, he told us about the Korean War. Right then, we were all thankful to America and we glorified God. If they did not do this, if we would be under Kim Jong un right now, then how would we be able to accept this gospel? How would we be able to praise? How would we be able to pray and preach the gospel? And I was born during the end of the Japanese rule. And we went through the Korean War. We went through a lot of hardship. But in each era, we see the hand of God helping us. Everyone, what we can do is was nothing at all. Korea has the surface area of 220,000 square kilometers. And it's divided into north and south. 110,000 square kilometers in the north, 110,000 in the south. And 70% of the land of Korea is mountains. 
And so all that remains is about 60,000 square kilometers. And it's split into north and south. And so North Korea has more mountains. And so we only have about 25,000 square kilometers of plain land. In the, in the, in the north and in the south, we have about 35,000 square kilometers of plain land. In Korea has no natural resources at all. And if you farm Korea, from Korea, one fourth of the people cannot eat. On that land, we had to build schools and houses and hospitals and also farm. The land was so small. And so, you know, because of the mountains, it was difficult for the people to use the land. Land is very, very expensive. So they say if you sell all of Korea, you could buy all of America. And really, Korea is not as big as even one state of America. And Korea has no condition at all to live well. And as it went through thousands of years of history, it was poor. The per capita income in Korea at Korean War was $65. But right now, the per capita income of Korea is about $27,000. Does anyone know exactly the per capita income of Korea? Yeah, about $27,000. And so I'm a person who has the antique value of having lived through Korea going from $65 to $27,000. Everyone's $65. It means you have to live for five days on one dollar. Meaning you have to live on 20 cents a day. I lived through that time. Am I alive? Yes, I'm alive. I lived through the $65 period. And I lived through it. And what I can precisely know is God wanted to establish the gospel in Korea. And then in 1988, we had the Olympics. Do you know what we did during the Olympics? The motto of the Olympics was the world to Seoul and Seoul to the world. And so the whole world came to Seoul for the Olympics. World to Seoul. But we did not do Seoul to the world. In 1989, in 88 during the Olympics, at the time Korea was so poor, the government would not issue passports to anyone. Because if you have a passport and go abroad and spend money, you're going to take currency outside. And passports were only issued to diplomats. And you know, businessmen, big businessmen. Passports were issued to only less than one percent of Korea. And back then, if you held a passport, they thought of you as some amazing person. But after the Olympics, they had the world to Seoul. But they couldn't do Seoul to the world because they didn't have passports. So Korea was going through hardship. At the time, President No Tae Woo, March 1989, there was a new law that said people that over the age of 45 could be issued passports. At the time, I was over the age of 45. 
제가 처음으로 패스포트를 손에 쥐었어요. So March of 1989 for the first time I got a passport. 그리고 그 패스포트를 들고 미국 대사관의 아내와 손을 잡고 갔습니다. And with that passport I held my wife's hand and went to the US embassy. 아 미국의 영사 나를 보고 말했어요. And the consular at the US embassy said to me. 당신들 부부 둘이만 갈 거냐고. Is it just you and your wife going? 아 앞으로 아이들 이제 그만 가겠지만 지금은 둘만으로 만족하다. Well, in the future when my kids get bigger they'll go too but right now it's just the two of us. 모두 나를 보고 영, 미국 비자 난다 그러는데. And everybody said to get the American visa. 그 착한 영사 but the consular, he was so nice. 고마운 영사. I'm so thankful to him. 좋은 영사가. He's a good consular. 질문 하나 따겠습니다. He just asked me one question. 뭐냐면. What was it? 당신 둘이만 갈 거냐. Is it just the two of you going? 그래서 둘이만 신청했다. And yes, just the two of us. 가라. Go. 그날 패스포트를 미국 비자로. So we got the U.S. visa in my passport. 3월 달에 LA에서 처음으로 집회를. And then in March, for the first time, we had a conference in LA. 그리고 그해 가을에 독일 베를린에 가서 집회를 했어요. 지금은 베를린 바로 가지만 right 그때는 베를린을 바로 가는 길이 없었습니다. 앵크리지까지 와서 북극을 넘어 베를린을 가고 앵크리지 가서 다음에 프랑크푸르트 가서 다음에 베를린까지 가는 비행기를 가요. And so you would have to go to Anchorage and then go to Frankfurt and then transfer to Berlin. 서울서 뉴욕까지 오는데 열세 시간 걸리는데. It takes 13 hours from Seoul to New York. 서울서 베를린 가는 스물네 시간이 더 걸렸어. But Seoul to Berlin it took more than 24 hours. 그래서 집회를 했습니다. And we had a conference. 많은 사람이 오지 않았지만. Not many people came. 그리고 그 다음 일을 했습니다. And then we continued on. 선교사들을 해외로 보냈어. We began to send missionaries abroad. 간단한 예를 들어 말하자면. You know, to simply put, 우리가 브라질에 김범수 형제 내외 갈 때. And when brother Kim Bums up and his wife we sent to Brazil. 브라질 말 아무도 몰랐어. He didn't know any of the language at all. 저도 모르고 김범수도 모르고. I didn't know brother Kim Bums Kim Bums up didn't know. 제가 얘기를 했습니다. And then I said, 서울에 가서 브라질 상파울로 가는 비행기를 타라. From Seoul, get on the airplane to go to São Paulo, Brazil. 그 가면은 그 비행기 안에 São Paulo에 사는 한국 사람들을 만나. Then in that airplane, you'll meet Koreans who live in São Paulo. 비행기가 서울서 São Paulo 가는 동안에 전도 구원을 받게 해라. And on your way in the airplane from Seoul to São Paulo, have that person receive salvation. 그래 그 사람의 지도 도움을 받아라. Then receive the help of that person. 그때 김범수 그렇게 갔지? That's how he went, right? 그렇게 갔어. That's how he went. 그 상파울로 교회 가시죠. And that's how we church started our church in São Paulo. 코스타리카에 선교사를 보내요. We sent our missionary to Costa Rica. 아무도 아는 사람이 없었어. We didn't know anybody there. 그냥 가. Just go, Costa Rica, go. 코스타리카로 갔습니다. And then he went to Costa Rica. 에스파니아 한 마디도 못 알아. He didn't speak a word of Spanish. 갔습니다. He went. 우리 엄마 돈을 많이 주었습니까? Did we give him a lot of money? 아마 비행기 표 사고 돈 조금 더 줬습니다. I think just as airplane ticket and a little bit of money. 그 당시 우리가 얼마나 가난했는데. We were so poor back then. 그때 진짜 선교사 진짜 선교사. And the missionaries back then were real missionaries. 코스타리카에 내렸습니다. And he got off at Costa Rica. 세원원이 물었어. 이건 뭐냐고. And then the customs officer asked him, what is this? 조성주 목사 어디 있어? 조성주. Pastor 조성주. 일어서 봐. Stand up. 아 저기 있어. 예. He's over there. 저 다음 처음에 코스타리카 한 사람. He went to Costa Rica. <웃음> 뛰어 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 공항에서 내렸던 이야기 한번. Tell us what happened at the airport. <웃음> 어 공항에 들어가서 이민청에 갔는데 저한테 여러 가지를 물었습니다. So at the airport I went to the immigration. They asked me a lot of things. 어, 스페인어로 묻고 영어로 물었습니다. They asked me in Spanish and then in English. 제가 할수 있는 거는 바보처럼 웃는 것밖에 없었습니다. The only thing I could do was just smile like a fool. 그게 제가 할수 있는 유일한 거였습니다. That was the only thing I could do. 뭐더 이상 할게 없었습니다. I couldn't do anything more. 그리고 이민청에서 너무 안 되니까 도와줬습니다. And the immigration they felt so sorry for me, so they helped me. 나중에 세관원 쪽으로 갔습니다. Later on they took me to customs. 여러 가지 물었는데 제가 유일하게 할수 있는 건 바보처럼 웃을 수 있는 것밖에 없었습니다. And so they asked me a lot of things, but the only the only thing I could do was smile. 그게 제가 할수 있는 게 다였습니다. That was all that I could do. 그때 제가 한 가지 딱 배운 언어가 있었습니다. Hola, 그거 하나였습니다. There was one thing I knew of the language, Hola. 근데 저를 어, 보내신 교회와 목사님의 약속 안에 있어서 모든 부분들 정말 얻을 수 있었습니다. But I, I was in the promise of the church and pastor who had sent me, so I gained, gained everything. 감사합니다. Yeah. 아, 
그래서 저희들이 이제 <웃음> 제가 한국에 있었을 때 When I was in Korea, 어, 굉장히 도둑이 많다고 들었습니다. You know, they said I was a very upright moral person. 그때 이제 저희들이 어, 그때 제 아내가 아이 둘 데리고 저는 가방 네 개를 갖고 이제 세관을 나가는데 And so at the time I had uh, my wife and my children and my uh, big bags and I took them with me. 그래 뭐 도둑놈이 많다니까 공항 밖에 보이는 분들이 다 도둑으로 보였습니다. And they told me there's going to be a lot of thieves there. So when I went outside, I thought there was gonna be, everybody looked like a thief to me. 그래, 저는 이제 가방을 갖고 나가는데 도대체 어디로 가야 될지 몰랐어요. And so I went out with my bags, but I had no idea where to go. 그 짐을 갖고 나가는데 제가 속으로 했습니다. 하나님 지금 나갑니다. 근데 어디로 갑니까? And so I was bringing my luggage and coming out, and I thought, God, I'm coming out now, but where do I go? 말도 모르고. I don't know the language. 그뭐 누가 아는 사람도 없고. I don't know anyone. 그 제가 마음으로 지금 나가긴 나가는데 제가 어디로 가야 되겠습니까? But in my heart I thought God I'm coming out now but where do I go? 하여튼 두려움 속에서 가방을 질질 끌고 밖으로 나갔습니다. And so I was so afraid I just dragged my bags and went outside. 어, 처음 보는 사람들이었는데. And these were people I was meeting for the first time. 그때 어떤 한 한국인 부부가 거기 계셨습니다. And there was a Korean couple there. 어, 저희들이 방황하는 거 보고 어디서 왔습니까? They saw how lost we were and they said to us where are you from? 왔는데, Oh, we're from Korea. 그럼 뭐 누가 아는 사람이 있나요? Well, do you know anyone? 뭐 아는 사람 없이 어떻게 이렇게 왔습니까? How'd you come here without even knowing anyone? 어, 그냥 보내서 왔습니다. They sent us, so we came. <웃음> 진짜 그분들이 도와주셔서 저희들이 집을 얻을 수 있었습니다. And through their help, we were able to find a house. 정말 준비된 것이 없었. 같았는데, it felt like there was nothing prepared. 정말 교회 안에 주신 약속 안에서. But instead of the promise God gave us to the church. 정말 제가 김포 공항에서 목사님께 전화를 드렸습니다. At the Kimpo Airport, I called pastor. 목사님 제가 이제 코스타리카로 갑니다. Pastor, now I'm leaving for Costa Rica. 그때 제가 목사님께 딱한 말씀 하셨습니다. And then pastor said one thing to me. 자네는 하나님의 이 아들인 것을 믿나? Do you believe that you're the son of God? 예, 믿습니다. Yes, I do. 그러면 아버지께서 자네를 위해 다 준비하실 거야. Father prepares everything for you. 그 목사님의 말씀 한 말씀이 모든 that, 것들을 다 준비해 주셨어. That one word from pastor had prepared everything for me. 정말 이런 교회 안에 있는 게 너무 감사합니다. I'm so thankful to be in this church. 우리는 설교할 줄은 몰랐습니다. We did not know how to do mission. 이야기를 하면은 할 얘기 너무 너무 많은데. For us to talk about this, there's so much to talk about. 94년에 처음으로 케냐 나이로비에 제가 갔어요. In 94 I went to Nairobi Kenya for the first time. 제가 내렸을 때 그때도 밤이었어. And when I got off it was night time. 컴컴했어. 공항에 불빛도 별로 없어. It was dark and the airplane was not well lit. 근데 여러분 정말 하나님이 우리와 함께 계셨어. But truly God was with us. 전 세계 100여 곳 나라에 우리 선교사들이 파송해. And we dispatched our missionaries to about 100 countries across the world. 그래 여러 곳에 우리가 굿 뉴스 미션의 지부를 만들었어. And we set up good news mission branches all over. 가는 곳마다 그 나라 정부 우리를 도와서 보금에 힘 있게 일할 수 있도록 땅도 주고 많은 걸 우리를 도왔어. And wherever we go, the governments help us to preach the gospel. They gave us land. They gave us many things. 놀라운 사실이 일어났습니다. Something amazing happened. 그때부터. From then on. 가난해서 해마다 겨울 때면 얼어 죽는 사람들이 생기고. You know, each year there were people who used to freeze to death in the winter. 제가 열 살, 열한 살, 열다섯 살될 때도 굶어 죽는 사람 많이 봤어요. When I was ten, eleven, there used to be a lot of people who starved to death. 겨울에 얼어 죽는 사람도 굉장히 많이 봤어요. A lot of people froze to death in the winters. 연탄 깨서로 죽는 사람도 굉장히 많았어요. And there are lots of people who died from gas leaks. 근데 그때 우리 나라가 부강해지기 시작했어요. But from that point on, Korea started to get wealthy. 지금도 우리나라가 잘살수 있는 이유는 아무것도 없어. Even now there is no reason at all that Korea could be well off. 그날 수천 년 전부터 가난하게 밥도 못먹늘 외국의 침공만 받고 그렇게 살았어. Korea for thousands of years could barely eat, always invaded by other countries. 1989년 우리가 선교사를 보낸 그때부터. But 1989 we began to send missionaries from that point on. 한국이 빠르게 경제적으로 성장하기 시작했어. Korea began to develop very very fast. 한국이 부강해지기 시작했어. Korea started to become wealthy. 이북에서 한번 우리나라 전쟁을 걸어왔어요. And one time North Korea tried to start a war with South Korea. 이북에서 그때 전쟁하는데 그때 그쪽도 배도 있고 우리도 배가 있습니다. And so they have ships and we have ships. 그쪽에는 이제 배를 이제 그 포를 쏠 때. 돌려가, and then when they're shooting their cannons, they have to, you know, they have to uh, aim and they have to roll the rotors and they shoot hits the waves. There's a splash. 
And so while they shoot their cannon once, we shoot at them 120 times. Because everything is electronic for us. The Korean Air Force says, What happens if you compare the North Korean Air Force with the South Korean Air Force? The South Korean Air Force pilot said, Just assume that North Korea has zero airplanes. Why? Why? What do you mean? They do have planes. But we bought American expensive planes. We have good radar. We could see them taking off from their runways. And North Korean planes don't have any radars. They see the plane, they go, oh, there's a plane. They don't even know what missile hit them. They disappear without even knowing that they're dying. And so you could assume that North Korea has no planes. Recently, President Park Geun-hye in the North Korea threatened to shoot missiles at us. And they pulled out their missiles to shoot. President Park Geun-hye said, shoot them. We'll destroy North Korea. Go ahead and shoot it. And they fueled their missiles. And then once you put in the fuel, you can't use it. And nobody ran away. And at the time, the ambassador of Paraguay was at my house. And there is a rest, uh, there is the cafeteria and the third level basement. Ambassador of Paraguay said to me, Pastor Park, what's the situation like? There's 3,000 people from Paraguay here. I have to care for them. I told him. That's why I took you down to this basement third level into the bunker. And we laughed. And so, and so I told him, let's eat lunch here and let's go up. It's okay. And ultimately, they did not shoot the missile. And this is what we think. If Kim Jong-un orders to shoot the missile, you know, the day he gives that command, they're going to pull out a gun and shoot Kim Jong-un. North Korea could shoot one missile. The moment North Korea shoots that missile, all of North Korea is destroyed. All is ready to make North Korea into powder. The moment they begin, North Korea is erased. And that's why no matter how much missiles they have, people think it's just toys. North Korea may shoot one missile to South Korea or somewhere else, but the moment they do it, they are erased from the earth without a trace. And America also figured this out. Kim uh, Kim, to meet Kim Jong Un. Yeah, that, to, meet, to meet Kim Jong Un, what they made was. If an airplane drops a bomb. If the bomb doesn't explode. And it will dig into the ground 100 meters. And then it will explode after you meet Kim Jong Un. That, they have bombs like that. And nobody knows where Kim Jong Un is right now. And then a few days later, they send out the broadcast. You know, it's, that's not where he is. And while we live for the gospel, we get blessed in every way because many countries all over the world, Christianity is dying. They don't have young people. They don't have young students. And they're just getting less in number with elderly people. But that's not so with the good news mission. You know, by faith, the young people pack our churches. Precisely when you unite your heart with Jesus, and if you receive the forgiveness of sins, you become the son of God. You know, I don't allow my son to die. Would God let the son of God be put to death? I believe in God. 
오늘 우리 요한복음 4장 이야기를 했습니다. Today we talked about John chapter 4. 끝낼 시간입니다. It's time to end. 어떻게 마무리를 할까요? How should I close this? 4장 시작할 때 예수님하고 사마리아 여자 생각이 다. When chapter 4 began, Jesus and the Samaritan woman had different thoughts. 예수 사마리아 여자에게 물을 좀 달라는 말을 이해하지 못했어. And she could not understand Jesus asking her for water. 여자가 물었습니다. And the woman asked. 당신은 유대인으로 지하 사마리아 여자 나에게 물을 달랍니다. You're a Jew. How do you ask me, a Samaritan, for water? 예수님 말씀하셨어. And Jesus said. 네가 만일 하나님의 선물과 if you knew the gift of God, 또 내게 물 달라는 건 누군지 알았더라면, and who it is that said to thee, give me to drink, 그와 너에게 네가 그에게 구할 그와 생수를 네게 주. You would ask of him, and he would have given you living water. 여자가 말했습니다. And the woman said. 주여 물기를 어 그릇도 없고. You have nothing to draw with. And the well is deep. How are you going to get the living water? And so our father Jacob built this well, and we, the descendants, drink from this well. Are you even greater than Jacob? And Jesus said to her, Woman, listen to me. Whosoever drinks of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinks the water I give him shall never thirst. For it will be in him a well springing unto everlasting life. And then what did the woman say? 주여, Lord, give me this water. That I thirst not, neither come here to draw. At first, this woman's thoughts and the thoughts of Jesus were far from each other. But as they kept on talking, this woman's heart and the heart of Jesus becomes one. And so I would think, how would the woman answer? What kind of water is that to never be thirsty ever again? Don't joke about that. That's probably what we would have said. There's nothing like that. That doesn't exist. And such water doesn't exist. But this woman, because she has lived so riotously until now, and she knew everything herself is wrong, she did not trust herself. And as she spoke with Jesus, her heart became the same as Jesus. And although it's not the same as her thoughts, although she doesn't understand that there is water, it's springing into everlasting life. But this woman believed Jesus. And this woman opened her mouth. 주여 이런 물을 내게 주사 목마르지도 않고 너에게 물길로 오지도 않게 하옵소서. Lord, give me this water so that I thirst not, neither come here to draw. 예수님과 여자 마음이 하나가 되었어. Jesus and this woman became one heart. 그때부터 여자는 달라지기 시작했어. From this point on, the woman began to change. 왜요? Why? 우리가 가진 이 마이크는 선이 없습니다. The mic that we have has no line. 그러나 이 마이크 안에 뭐 배터리가 있습니다. But there's a battery inside of this mic. 이 전기는 어디다 쓰냐면은 이 크리스탈 발진기란 게 안에 있는데. There's a crystal transmitter in here. 이 크리스탈 발진기는 크리스탈을 얇게 오래 가지고 양쪽 간에 바늘을 대서 전류로 통할 수 있는. And so the crystal, you get a thin slice of it, put needles on both ends, run electricity through it, it'll create electric magnetic waves. And so it's continually creating electric waves. And so they put my voice into the electric wave and send it out. Like a radio station. And then from the other end, the amp receives the electric wave. 그 전파를 잡아 리시버에서 잡아 가지고 받아들이면 전파가 깨지면서 그 소리가 나옵니다. And the amp receives electric waves, cracks it open, and pulls out the sound. 그래서 그 소리 나오는 걸 가지고 앰프로 확대시켜 가지고 이 스피커를 통해서 들리게 합니다. And through the amp, they magnify the sound, and we hear the sound through the speakers. 그래서 여기서 하는 이 마이크하고, and so this microphone, 저쪽에 받아들이는 그 리시버하고, that sending and the receiver on the other end, 꼭 같은 채널로 꼭 같은 주파수로 맞춰야 돼. They have to be on the same channel on the same frequency. 그러면 그냥 볼 때. Then, if you just do it, it doesn't make any sound. But if it's on the same channel, you know, you, you can pick up the electric waves. And then, and then, 
And then from the electric wave, you can remove the sound and with the amp, magnify the sound and let it out through the speakers. This microphone and this microphone have different frequencies. And so they have two different receivers. And so there is a receiver over there to receive from this mic. This mic is a receiver. And there's also another receiver that will receive from this mic. And so when we speak, they both accept both of them and open the electric wave and pull out the sound from the electric wave and magnify it and send it to the speaker and it comes to us. And so, you know, it's pretty much you know, talking about you know, this microphone, how well it works, so you can sell it well. 중요한 것은 but the important thing is 여기서 보내는 이 송신기하고 the transmitter that sends from here 받아내는 기계하고 and the receiver 같은 채널이에요. They are the same channel. 다 같은 주파수. Same frequency. 그러면 놀라운 일을 then the speakers can do amazing things. We can do things we can't imagine. 맞습니다. Is that right? Samaria 여자가 옛날에는 방탈하고 음란하고 그렇게 지내. The Samaritan woman used to be lustful and riotous. 그래서 예수님을 만나 이야기하는 동안에. And then she meets Jesus and speaks with him. 예수님 마음과 같은 마음이 됐어. And she became same heart as Jesus. 이 물을 먹는 자만 다시 목마르리. Whoever drinks this water will thirst again. 내가 주를 먹는 자 영원히 목마르지 아니하리. But whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. 그래서 영생토록 소나는 생물. It will be a well springing up into everlasting life. 우리가 이해가 안 됩니다. We don't understand that. 그 이해갑니까? Do you understand that? 안 가요. We can't. 그렇지만 여자는 but 그걸 woman, 믿을 수가 있었습니다. She was able to believe this. 그 말은 예수님이 여자의 여자 예수님 말씀 받아들이면서. It means this woman accepted the word of Jesus. 예수님하고 한 마음이 됐습니다. And she became one heart with Jesus. 그러면 저 리시버에서는 Then at the receiver, 무슨 소리든지 간에 No matter what sound it is, 이 주파수로 it receives all the waves that come from this frequency. When Jesus and this woman became one heart, it means the transmitter and the receiver being at the same cycle. Then all the words from here will all enter into the receiver. Sister, speak. This will reach it also. Say something. Gloria a Dios. Yes, it all goes there. Because it's the same frequency. When your heart and the heart of Jesus becomes one, the heart of Jesus enters you all. Then you become small Jesus. The Samaritan woman, until now, she lived riotously, and she went through six husbands, but that day, she met Jesus. And while talking with him, she became one heart with him. From then on, this woman lived with the heart of Jesus. And the woman used to be always be drunk. Hey, let's party, let's dance. But she went to the village. He's the Messiah. He knew everything about me. Receive salvation. And amazingly, the whole village came to hear it. You know, the Jews don't even look into the face of Samaritans. The real funny thing is, Jesus remained at that village two more days. What does that mean? Jesus and they were one. That's what it means to believe Jesus. And so it's very important. It's important to pray. It's important to witness. But all of that is secondary. But to be one heart with Jesus. And from that day on, I became one heart with Jesus. And the heart of Jesus entered into me. And I got to realize scriptures I couldn't realize. I get to know wisdom. And I was able to see God working. And that's why for you to become one with Jesus, throw your thoughts away and 
believe the words of Jesus. 예수님이 그리스도 예수 안에 구속으로 하나님으로 값없이 어렵다 하시면 어둠 자 됐. And Jesus says, of being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, then you're righteous. 예, 나 어렵습니다. Oh yes, I'm righteous, Lord. 내일 이만대 사만의 선물에 고운 가루 한 세, 한 세계, 보리 두 세, 한 세계. Tomorrow about this time, a measure of fine flour for a shekel, two measures of barley for a shekel. 말도 안 돼. Nonsense. 그건 우리 생각입니다. Those are our thoughts. 이 생각 버리고. Throw our thoughts away. 예, 그렇습니까? Yes, Lord, is that so? 야, 여기 살았다. Yes, we live now. 그렇게 믿는 거. That's what it is to believe. 그 사람은 예수님 마음 같은 마음. That is a person with the same heart as Jesus. 그리고 그 사람은 예수님의 마음으로 삶. And that person lives with the heart of Jesus. 그러면 달라집니다. That person changes. 제가 구원을 받고 제 동생이 달라졌습니다. After I got saved, my younger brother changed. 저희 아버지 구원 받고 3일을 사셨는데. My father lived three days after getting saved. 70 평생을 어둠 영에 이끌려 사신 아버지. He lived 70 years of his life in darkness. 3일 동안 거기서 벗어나. For three days he was freed from it. 아름다운 3일을 만들고 하나님 편에 가시. He made three beautiful days and then went to the Lord. 여러분이 이제 여러분 생각을 버리시. Now everyone throw your thoughts away. 사마리아 여자처럼 예수의 말을 그대로 받아들이. And like the Samaritan woman, accept the words of Jesus as it is. 예수님과 같은 사람이 됩니다. Then you become a person like Jesus. 여러분 통해 하나님 역사할 수 있습니다. God can work through you. 난 나이가 많아. I'm too old. 난 영어를 잘 못해. I can't speak English. 난 에스파뇨를 못해. I can't speak Spanish. 난 말을 못해. I can't speak. 난 성경을 몰라. I don't know the Bible. 여러분 생각이. Those are your thoughts. 하나님 일하면 If God works, 너도 하나님 일할 수 있어. You can do the work of God. 너도 할수 있고. You can do it. 너도 할수 있고. You can do it. 내가 너 속에 들어가 일할게. I will enter you and work in you. 내가 너를 통해 일할게. I will work through you. 너 같은 마음을 가지고 내가 너를 통해서 내 뜻을 이루게. If you have the same heart as me, I can work through you. 주님이 그렇게 하시기 원합니다. That's what the Lord does. 우리 모두 그렇게 삽시다. Let us all live like that. 우리는 가능해 산게 아무것도 없어. There was nothing possible that we ever did. 아까 이 선교사 보는데 그냥 가 빨리 가. You know, like when we sent the missionaries, we told them just go, go, just go. 그냥 갔습니다. And they just went. 왜? 예수님 살아 계시기 때문에. Why? Because Jesus is alive. 그래서 굶은 사람 하나도 없고. And nobody starved because of it. 죽은 사람 하나도 없고. Nobody died because of it. 하나님이 그들을 축복했습니다. God bless them. 이제 여러분의 지혜가 아닌 예수님의 은혜로 사는 여러분 되시길 바랍니다. But I hope that you will be living not by your wisdom, but by the grace of Jesus. And if you're you get to live your life through Jesus, your life will change. 여러분 교회가 달라지고, your church will change. 여러분 가정이 달라지고, your family will change. 여러분 국가가 달라지. Your countries will change. 우리는 우리가 선교회가 1989년부터. Now our mission from 1989. We began to do mission work abroad. 그다지 우리가 65 달러 저 밑바닥에 조금 올라갔는데. Our country was at the bottom at 65 dollars. 1989년 선교사 보낼 때 빠르게 상. From 89 we began to send missionaries. It began to climb very fast. 모르는 사람들은 한국 가난하게 생각하는. People who don't know think that Korea is poor. 한국 가보면 모든 게 미국보다 좋습니다. In Korea everything is better than America. 한국에 가면 길거리 고물차 한 대도 없어. In Korea, you don't see any junk cars on the roads. 대부분 한국 사람들 차 4년 이상 타지 않습니다. And most Koreans don't drive a car more than four years. 다 새로 바꿔. They all get new cars. 그리고 여러분 공항도. And the airport. 비행기 바퀴가 땅에 닿으면. When the airplane wheels hit the ground. 딱 10분 지나면 제가 승용차 안에 와. In 10 minutes, I'm already in my car. 깜짝 깜짝 놀랍니다. It's amazing. 비행기 아무 암만 많이 와도. No matter how many planes there are. The boom, 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 boom. 그래서 한국 사람 성비가 급합니다. 빨리 빨리 빨리. Koreans are very impatient. 빨리 빨리 hurry up hurry up. 빨리 하나님을 마음 같이 하세요. You know quickly unite your heart with the heart of God. 빨리 빨리 빨리. Quickly quickly. 그리고 이 놀라운 복을 받으시길 바랍니다. And I hope you will receive this amazing blessing. 여러분 교회가 달라지길 바랍니다. And I hope your churches will change. 하나님이 살아 일하실 것입니다. God will live and work. 기도하겠습니다. Let us pray. 하나님 아버지 감사합니다. Father God, we thank you. You gave us this amazing grace <coughs> freely without any works. We praise you, God, for giving us that grace. Let us all be blessed through Jesus. We thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone.